Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm an artist and arts educator based here in Los Angeles. I'm a friend of FSA, and I have a few thoughts for you if you are organizing or thinking of organizing a future FSA 2019, 2020, 21 here in Los Angeles, in Dubai, or anywhere else. So I have five thoughts to share with you. Um, FSA is the antidote. We learn by doing. Walk your own path. Maybe shorter. Good luck. Uh, FSA is the antidote. So I've been teaching art down at Long Beach State University for 13 years now. I've had about 5,000 general education students and it's a range of students but we have created a system that focuses so much on points and grades instead of really developing the tools that you're looking for for a career and a life. Um, we've got a lot of external motivation external rewards instead of really focusing on the internal. And I think FSA is a chance to turn, to take that upside down system and put it back right side up. It's a self-selected group of people who are passionate about architecture, really want to think things uh, further, maybe think about issues that, that haven't really been addressed so deeply in their own architectural training. Um, and it's, it's just a fantastic event. I'm excited that you're organizing or thinking about organizing an FSA. Number two, we learn by doing. I believe for myself that project work is the best work, is, is the most powerful learning. Not everyone agrees. Some people think that there's too much project work in architecture school and FSA shouldn't have projects. Um, there are also, you know, for me, a project doesn't have to be design a thing. It could be write a manifesto, write some blog posts. I know there are also people who think that writing is kind of a waste of time, that nobody reads it, and what's the point of that? So there's a lot of different opinions here, and you'll have to sort that through. But for myself, we learn by doing. I think, you know, talks are good, conversations are great, but ultimately having that focus that I would like to create something, achieve something, work on something, that nothing beats that. So I would encourage you to think about working some kind of project or goals into the structure. Number three, walk your own path. So much of our educational system is codified knowledge. Here's what helped, was good in the past, and this is what we think you need to know now. All of those Structures are well-meaning, but I think when you walk somebody else's path, it just, it is not the deepest educational experience. I think it's essential to walk your own path. Again, that's why I love FSA, because that's what FSA is all about. So in my case, I do like the idea of, of doing projects, but you know, I think for me, what would be great is to lay out a structure where you encourage people to choose what they want to do and to be active and then turn them loose. Maybe use a tool like Slack and get people thinking about that a couple weeks before they arrive. They can be interacting with each other. And um, you know, if you want people to be self-motivated and have really light structure, I think, I think light structure requires structure. That you can't just have people show up and expect them to say, oh, I will go do this. You might suggest in advance, you know, be prepared to, or you might like to think about. Um, so let people walk their own paths, but make it clear that that's something you're gonna encourage. Number four, maybe shorter. This FSA 18, 2018 Los Angeles was six weeks. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a friend of FSA, so I haven't been in, involved in the whole event myself. But what I've seen in, in my window of it is that so many people have arrived late, left early, maybe only done two of the six weeks, or maybe attended this event, but then skipped all of these, all of which is not necessarily bad. I'd rather have motivated people be there than, than force someone to attend, that's kind of crazy. But maybe six weeks is too much for people coming from around the globe. So you know, maybe three or four intense weeks where people can participate, you know, it doesn't have to be 100%, but a, but a little more fully. Um, and then five, just good luck. I think for some of the reasons I've already described, this is the sort of project that I think almost has to succeed. I think the idea of FSA is so strong and so empowering that whoever responds to your call and wants to come, whether it's a, a local regional FSA or whether you invite a global audience or however you structure it, um, I hope you will bring in people who are as passionate about architecture, urban planning, public space, um, as the people I've met at FSA 
2018 Los Angeles. And I think with your good intentions and your light but clear structure and their energy, you will have a fantastic event. So good luck, wishing you big success.